of the main reasons that led you to needing support within supported lodgings at uh, the stay scheme? Um, there was like, I got a breakdown of family and then I went into foster care and then extended family, like pulled me out of foster care. And I didn't really know them that well, so I wasn't comfortable staying with them, so I ended up like running away. And then my social worker found me and asked me if I wanted to stay in supported lodgings, so, so that kind of came about. Uh, how did you find out about this type of support? Um, my social worker um, approached me about it. She approached me about it actually ages before that, and I had originally said no, and that was before I went into foster care. And then whenever I came back, I had really no option altogether, so she was like, you're going to have to go in, so I was like, yeah. Uh, how did you find living in a house with a different or unfamiliar family? Was it difficult to adjust? Um, I, well, the first like few like weeks I was quite shy and I was afraid to ask for back at Christmas stuff like that there. But then, like as I got to know them more, like they were pretty much just like me, like sort of just like they mucked around and just weren't too serious about things. And like it was hard to adjust to like rule changes and following rules and different things to get there. And then I had to go to school and everything else, which wasn't easy. <laughs> <laughs> did it take you long to settle? Um, not too long, just like a few weeks. I mean. Give or take. How would you advise the scheme of advertising this service to other young people? Like how could they make uh, make the young people more aware of it? Um, that's a hard one. Um, well, there's leaflets and stuff, but like their leaflet, um, Christine had originally shown me their leaflet, and like whenever they showed me, it was kind of dull. <laughs> it was like a bit of a dull leaflet, like, and um, there was just like some sad girl <laughs> with her hand, like head in her hands, and I was like, you can be a bit more lively and like show the nice side of sport lodges. Not that you're all like depressed and have to go into like, but. And they could advertise it like more brightly, like in sort of maybe like a website and maybe even get some like advertising on TV or something or maybe radio or something like that, or like a local radio show or something.